Today I'm going to demonstrate how to calibrate a locomotive to scale speed and program the 28 step speed table in just a little more than one minute. Welcome to the IOTT channel, I am Hans Tanner. In video number 90 I showed how to analyze the scale speed of a locomotive using the purple head track measuring core. This was just the middle step in this overall profiling workflow that is used to define a speed table in a way that you can set a particular speed on your throttle and the locomotive is traveling with a known scale speed. Now the entire workflow is working, so let's have another look. Here I run the two locomotives I chose for this demonstration as a consist but without coupling them together. You see their speed is somewhat different, even though they are from the same manufacturer and are equipped with the same decoder type. Now, to get started with speed profiling, I place the first locomotive at the beginning of the test track and couple the purple head track measuring car to it. Then I load the purple head web app to run the calibration process. For both locomotives I have a JMRI roster file, so I load the first one. This step is not really needed, but it allows the web app to know the current CV settings of the decoder. To run the motor analysis, of course, speed tables and min, mid, max values need to be turned off. If the decoder offers speed stabilization, it is a good idea to turn it on, it makes the measured speed much less load dependent and results in a better calibration. What I want at the end is shown in the throttle profile here. The maximum speed the two locomotives can reach should be 80 km per hour or 50 miles per hour. That scale speed should be reached at 50% throttle setting. For the first speed step I want a little extra push and the speed curve up to 80 km per hour should be slightly convex. I use the mouse to add or remove curve points and to move them in the graph to define the shape of the scale speed curve I want. As the last step of the preparation, I assign the DCC address to the web app and the locomotive is ready to get tested. Then I click Start Test. Compared to what I showed in the last video, I added an analysis mode where purple hat only measures 27 speed steps. This is much faster and the values are good enough so that speeds that are in between can be interpolated when calculating the speed table. For this demonstration I selected a test track length long enough so that all speed steps can be measured in a single pass. That way it takes less than a minute to do a full analysis of the locomotive. When done, the measured speed curve is displayed and in the next graphic below we can see the calculated speed table values. I then click the right CVs button and the speed table is programmed to the decoder. This takes about 15 seconds and the locomotive is calibrated to scale speed. I then assign the DCC address of the second locomotive and repeat the process. While we are waiting for the process to complete, I suggest you click the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future videos about the purple head track measuring core and other projects I am working on. And if you like this little demonstration, please click the like button to let me know. Doing so helps to promote this video and the IOTT channel in general because as you know, YouTube likes the likes. Okay, 
Another 90 seconds later, the second locomotive is calibrated as well and I am ready to do some speed testing. The first thing I test is scale speed in relation to the throttle position. I do it the old fashioned way, using a stopwatch measuring the time it takes to travel a distance of 1 meter, which is the distance between the two yellow markers. First I go with 50% throttle and measure about 7.5 seconds, which corresponds to a scale speed of 76 km per hour compared to the 80 km per hour I am looking for. Slightly slower but not bad. Then I set the throttle to 25% and the time is 11.6 seconds or about 49.6 km per hour compared to a target of 50 km per hour. So it looks like the defined throttle speed curve is observed quite nicely. Next I repeat the consist test for the two locomotives. I place the locomotives in a distance of about half a foot and drive them across the test layout a distance of about 10 feet. The speed of both locomotives is very similar over the entire speed range in both directions. Quite convincing I think, particularly because it can be achieved with so little effort. So let me talk just a little bit about the infrastructure you need to do speed profiling of your own fleet. It's actually quite simple. To do the actual speed analysis you need an IOTT stick and purple head track measuring board. I am currently waiting for the boards to arrive from the PCB manufacturer and will add them to the TD store linked in the description below as soon as possible. The plan is to create track measuring car kits for the most popular modeling scales, which also will include the right size axle magnets as shown in video number 87, so that you don't have to buy 300 if only two of them are needed. The kit will be available for N scale with 2 mm magnets, HO scale with 3 mm magnets and G scale with 10 mm magnets. Watch video number 81 for more information on how these magnets are installed and used to measure the travel distance. And of course, if you prefer to build your own purple head sensor, I will also make the design files for the PCB available on my GitHub page. The second element is a connection between the IoTT stick on the track measuring car and your digital command control system so that the IOTT stick can send locomotive speed commands when it is running the speed test. There are several ways to do that, but the easiest is to connect your digital command control system to a computer which has the JMRI control software installed. The IOTT stick can talk via Wi-Fi to JMRI and to the command control system using the Loconet or TCP server if it is a Loconet based system, which allows a seamless integration including writing the CV values to the decoder. After showing the speed analysis in the last video, I had quite a few viewers asking if Purple Hat could be used with NCE or Lens or whatever other system. So I looked into that and added a wide throttle client to the IoTT stick and therefore if you can control your locomotives with smartphone apps like White Throttle or Engine Driver, you will be able to use Purple Head to calibrate your locomotives. The only downside right now is that the White Throttle protocol does not support CV programming, so to program the speed table you need to store the table values to a JMRI roster file and then program the values using Decoder Pro. And that's it for today's video. I hope this information was useful or at least interesting for you and you have a better idea now how the purple head sensor can simplify the speed calibration of your entire locomotive fleet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.